Here's another one from Yahoo Money yesterday. Inflation, grocery prices in August rose 13.5%, the highest increase since March of 79. That's not a small number, by the way. 13.5%, you know, that means if you spend, I don't know, $1,000 a month on grocery for your family, you got, you got a family of five, four, husband, wife, two kids. Now you're doing thirteen fifty. That's one hundred and thirteen dollars. One hundred and thirteen dollars of after tax money is like two hundred dollars of pre tax money. Did people get a two hundred dollar raise? Did people get a thirteen and a half percent raise? I don't know. So, so too many of these figures adding up. You know, it's it's making you kind of. A, and by the way, did you see the other article about real estate property around the world? How it's just dipping? Did you see the chart that they had? Mm-hmm. Uh, I send it to you on Instagram if you pull it up. Um, it's not that one. It's the other one. If you go on Instagram, you'll see it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the one. You can zoom in on that one. Go ahead and zoom in on that one. You can zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Look at that right there. Go a little lower. Bloomberg, go a little lower. The other way, the other way, the other way. Yeah, so there you go. So the world's hottest housing markets are facing a painful reset. Okay, Toronto's going up. That's not really taking a hit. It's shown from 2020 how much it's gone up. Look at the number, by the way. Toronto's gone up 45% just in two years, 45%. Stockholm went up 35%, and then it's dropped down to 20%. Auckland went up 45%, and it's dropped to 20%. So it's dropped another 25% in the last six months or 10 months. And Sydney went up 25%, and it's now only up 15%. So... A, a, a lot of people right now. Do you have any opinions on the on the real estate market? Are you kind of you know you have any ideas of what you think is going to happen with all the inventory, the rates going up, how it's going to affect it? Well, you know, back to the previous slide on the groceries. I mean, you, you just got to look what people are doing, and credit cards are blooming. You know, they're maxed out right now. Savings accounts are plummeting. Mm-hmm. People are borrowing money to grow the groceries. So that's a pretty good uh, indicator that the party's over. You know, get out of the pool, we're getting ready to wake up to reality. Um, my biggest concern through all this is is inflation, yes, but deflation of real estate. When you got houses that you're paying two fifty four and you've only had two hundred fifty thousand and you had to put twenty grand down and then all of a sudden that house is worth one eighty and people just leave us with the keys. The the deflation thing could happen with housing and that, that would be back to a Euro seven oh eight bust. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you think that's possible okay so if that does happen you know 31 is not going to be the lowest for dow you could be you think we'll touch 25 the interview i gave 14 months ago 30 yeah. months ago i was going hey you know the, the the game changer here is if they raise interest rates the guy kind of looked at me like i was crazy they start raising interest rates from you know oh, yeah. zero or one or whatever it was now now what's a six year six percent on a 30-year mortgage they keep that up yeah, 31 could be a nice number on the 